Namaste and welcome yogis to your weekly yin yoga practice with me Matt and today we're going to be working on the lower body and specifically the hamstrings which is where we can hold a lot of tension and tightness so today we're just going to need two blocks and I'm going to invite you to set yourself up comfortably on your yoga mat and as usual I like to close my eyes, drop my shoulder blades down, lengthen my spine, and just start taking some deep breath in and out through the nose. Just setting the intention for peace, calmness, and stress reduction today. And I'm gonna leave you with your breath for about three minutes. So let's work on this silently to calm the mind and the body. might want to rest the back of your hands on top of your knees, touching your thumb and index finger together. So you can slowly open your eyes and just appreciate that sense of calmness and peace that we just transitioned into by taking the time to breathe properly and relax today. And when you're ready, I'm going to invite you to bring the sole of your feet together in front of you. We're going to be going into butterfly position. And you can keep about a one feet distance between your heels and your groin here. And then allowing the knees to drop down with gravity, which is gonna lengthen the spine here. You can hold your feet together if you wish to. Take in one big inhale. And on the exhale, I like to walk my fingertips forward, finding that point of resistance in my inner groin and then just holding stillness here allowing my connective tissues ligament tendons to open up on their own without forcing anything So you can reconnect with your breath and just kind of take notice into what's going on in your body and mind without judgment. You 
you might start to notice tension dissipating in your inner groin. Thoughts might come and go. And all I want you to do today is just to be present in the moment without thinking, without judging, without doing anything else than just appreciating being here with me in this beautiful space. And if you find that you don't have tension in your groin anymore, you can walk your fingertips a little further, bending at the waist, finding a new edge to hold stillness, and then softening up into the position with your breath. And we can walk our hands back, raising our upper torso and closing our knees here as we extend the left leg out into a 45 degree angle and bringing the right leg in just like this. So if you wanna open up the flesh of your glutes just to sit comfortably here, by all means do so. And then on your own time, lengthening the spine, taking one big inhale. On the exhale, we're just gonna turn our hips to the right here, and we're gonna start walking our fingertips in the opposite direction of that left leg. If you wish to place a block to support your forehead as you lower yourself down, that is okay as well. Let's just enjoy how that feels. You can play a bit with your angle here just to find what feels best for you today. And then just find your own stillness and breathe and relax here. You should feel a nice, deep and long stretch around the inner hamstring, inner side of your hamstring here on the left side. It should be more inside than behind. And that's what we're working on with this slight variation here.
and you can push yourself up, turning your hips back to center, taking a few breaths here. And now we're gonna be working directly on the back of the hamstring. So we're gonna be turning our hips towards the left leg this time. Taking one big inhale here. And on the exhale, walking our fingertips forward. Once again, you can place the block on top of your left eye for support. Just going into this beautiful hamstring stretch here. Just find your point of resistance once again and allow tension to dissipate on its own while you stay steady with your mind and your breath here. And you can slowly come up and out of this. Placing the block aside and bringing that left leg back in as we extend the right leg out in a 45 degree angle. So from here, we're gonna turn our hips away from the right leg. And we're gonna take one big inhale here. And on the exhale, walk your hands forward. You can come down on your forearms if you wish. And use the block for support here. As you settle calmly into stillness. Just enjoying that deep, long stretch inside the right leg here.
And you can push yourself back up out of the position, bringing your hips back to center here. You might want to wiggle a little bit your right leg if you find a bit of tingling or numbness. And when you're ready, you can turn your hips facing that right leg, taking one big inhale. And on the exhale, walking your fingertips forward, bending at the waist. Again, you can use the block on top of that right thigh for support, helping you to hold stillness as you allow your right hamstring to open up. And as you soften up into the stretch, you can lower the block here to go a little deeper into it. Putting it at a lower position, depending on your flexibility level here. Or you might not need a block at all if you're able to bring your forehead to your knee. Some of you are very flexible, much more than I am. And that's okay. We are all working on our own self without trying to be anybody else than the best version of what we can be. And very slowly you can come all the way up, putting the blocks aside and bringing the right leg back in. And I'm just going to invite you to turn facing the front of your yoga mat and lowering yourself down onto your backs here. So from here, with your knees at a 90 degree angle. I'm just gonna invite you to wiggle them left to right, which might feel really good, just to release the low back after bending at the waist for this long. So just keep doing this very slowly as you breathe in and out through the nose. It should feel wonderful. And from here, we're gonna be going into happy baby. So you can bring your knees towards your chest and then your hands can grab the exterior edges of your feet as you pull your knees down towards the floor. Just putting enough pressure on those feet to get a deep stretch in your inner groin here. This should feel great. And you can 
rock left to right to massage your low back a little bit. bring the legs back in closing the knees bringing your feet to the floor here and next we're going to be going into cat pulling it still one that we haven't done in a while that is very beneficial so you can take a few breaths here just enjoying the rebound effect from happy baby And now I'm gonna slowly walk you through how to set up cat pulling its tail. So we're gonna shift our hips a little bit to the left here, bring the knees towards the chest. And then the, the right hand will go on the exterior edge of the left knee here. And we're gonna take one big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna twist our hips to the right side, a little bit like when we're doing um, recline twist here for the spine but now the right leg will come back and the right heel will get closer to the right glute here using the left hand to grab onto the top of the right foot and then pulling that right foot closer to your glute so we're going into a twist like this trying to keep our shoulder blades in contact with the floor looking up towards the ceiling so basically the right hand's pushing on the exterior side of the left knee going into that twist and then the left hand is pulling on the right foot to have a stretch on your right thigh so there's two actions happening at once here which is why this is very beneficial yet it can be challenging a little bit so just do the best you can Reconnect with your breath and just try to relax fully here.
and we can release the legs slowly bringing them back in line with our hips and spine here and take your time to do so you don't want to be rushing any movements when you go into a deep stretch like this I'm just going to take a few breaths here before going to the other side with you guys. And now when you're ready, you can lift and shift your hips slightly to the right as you bring your knees in towards your chest. The left hand will go on the exterior edge of the right knee as your hips are moving to the left and then bending the left leg at the knee bringing that left foot closer to your glutes the right hand will grab onto it and then we're just gonna pull that left foot towards the glute here with the right hand and then putting some pressure on the right knee with the left one trying to keep our shoulder blades in contact with the floor as we fully relax here again and reconnect with our breath into stillness. And we can release the legs and slowly bring them back in line with our spine and hips here as we extend our legs in front of us into Savashna, our final position for today's class. 
So take some space on your yoga mat. Fully let go of trying to control your arms, your legs, your neck. Just let yourself melt onto the floor. As you reconnect deeply with your breath and just really enjoy this peaceful moment in silence with me. And you should feel much better right now after completing today's yin yoga class with me. So I'm going to come to the seated position. And by all means, you can stay lying down if you wish. I personally want to thank all of you guys for your support, your generous donations to my PayPal and for subscribing to my channel and sharing my classes with friends and family members. We're just going to place our hands at our hearts here, and I'm going to wish you a beautiful rest of your week. Namaste. See you next time.